Oh, oh goobble gobble. I that was yeah. behind me. No. Dedeker, now's the chance to take your clothes off. And I've never heard him burp like that. I'm manly. Oh, crap. We're going to get to marry this. See a girl in a dress. She needs to soften up. Got to come. She's a girl. Yes, I see a girl. Uh-oh. She's a girl. A woman. A tall guy. And a dude. A woman and a man. Look at that. Look at us. Hello. <laughs> Come on out. Hi. How are you? Hello. Hi. Oh my God. Wow. Thank you. What's your name? Katie. Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. I'm Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to meet you. I'm Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Josh. Hi, 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 Nice to meet you. Cal. Nice to meet you. Hi. My goodness. You want some help Cal, with your box? Nice you. Mine is yes, so heavy, please. I had to jump on it to get it to close. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. that's good. I I good. Like, good. I'm bringing my pillow no matter what. <laughs> All right, ready, girl? Yeah. Wait, got it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Katie and Cal. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I, I don't know, I'll take this one. You want to get rid of his question? Ash, you're pretty. You got the blue eyes. Yeah, I'm ready through, am I right? No worries. Thank you. There you go. Hi, Bree. My name's Katie. Will you take my rings I'm off? I'm there first, brother. My name's Katie. Nice to meet you. Give me a hug. Called you it. Yeah. Called it. Ooh. Good, Good to be here. Called it. Wow, it does look different in person. Yeah? Yeah. Like it? Do you have any eggs? You better like it. At least a few days. Yeah. You only get one option, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what is hey guys, this is Katie. Okay, this is killing me. Can we make them do it? I can't believe I'm 16 here. Now, what you do? 16. Yes. Hi, you're hi. Good. Can we keep going? Hi. Good. Okay, nice to meet you. Cal. Do you want to help me carry your box? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ask somebody how you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe a gentleman in the There we go. I'd love to. I had to jump on it Cal. to make it close. Cal. I brought a sleeping bag and a pillow. Hey, smart. It's Ernesto. Katie, we're going to quickly steal those things from <laughs> There's a pillow in here? Don't talk about what you got. There's no pillow yeah, in here. We aren't above it. robbing you. <laughs> this is a peaceful community, but we will steal everything. Yeah? Everybody. It's just all right. Yeah, I'm with you. Yes, I'm with you. That's dope. That is dope. That is dope. You can go to the store right here. <laughs> You're so clean. I know, it's not going to My feet aren't clean. I was, I was <laughs> petting some horses. So I thought clean. you were good at getting over lots, that, That's just what you get to look forward to. I know. <laughs> yeah, really. Look at our feet. I brought black nail polish because that's the color you can paint over and over again, and it won't look that bad. Yeah, that is just hilarious. I'm very happy to be here. Just set it right here. What do you do? Huh? What do you do? Um, I, I work with animals. I'm animal right rescue. Hot. Ah. Doing yeah. it again. <laughs> Dude, this is buckskin clothing. Buckskin? Good. What happens if you have his carpet? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's suede. Oh, suede? Yes. Oh. I like your necklace. I'm a little caught up. Thank you, honey. This is Taylor. It's like wearing a whole cow. These are deer hides. Huh? Oh, my God. So you're wearing like two deer. No, many more than that. <laughs> These pants were four deer hides. You look Hi. like a rock star. Oh, well, thank you, honey. Hey, deer hide. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he feels about bleach. It's the stone circle. With the rock. He's a toy. Oh, my God. Don't mess with this man. Deer hide. Are you seeing the red replacement? It's hot, honey. I thought I was just wearing all these clothes. Nice Hilarious. Yeah. Everybody's laughing so hard. Good. Well, you're familiar faces because, like, I recognize all of you. It's kind of funny. I did, yeah. I tanned the hides and made them myself. I was going to say, did you tan your hides? Of course, yes. I want a fur vest. A fur vest? I want some pants like that. You and I are probably the same size. I bet you're right. We'll stick around. We'll trade clothes. I know. He's not going to laugh. He's not going to laugh. I brought black nail polish and a bath You can paint it whenever, even when there's a chip, you know? So I'll share that. Yeah. So we can all be Okay. So you kind of live off the green type. Something like that. Yeah. Let's go down to the rocks. Yeah. Let's go to the rocks. Nikki, I didn't say hi to you. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, Katie. Nice to meet you. You too. Hi, I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Amanda. Hey. Hi, Eric. Good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Look at your hands. Jeez. Really? You yeah. want to talk to you if I want a banana? Yeah, I'm the man to talk to you if you want a banana. I called you. I am the chef. You know what? I'm sorry. 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 I'm s
like shop. Right, right, right. Just like from walking in and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. This is good. Do you have a compost? I hope so. Compost for the yeah. Yeah. Right outside to the right side. Huh? You made this? Hey, so. Josh. Yeah. Can you show him the compost? Yeah. It's, um. I am what I am. Oh. <laughs> the tabby. <laughs> Where are we going? The rocks, huh? Yeah. We all like match. We're all wearing some form of like pink, know, white, guys, tan, I black. Like, like, into the what is wrong with us? I'm gonna grab my water. You, you into the hunter boy? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what all, that's what all the guys put in there. What? They're like, hey. Uh, are you kidding? Stop. That's what all, I'm not lying. That's what all the dudes really, I walked up with a fucking digger. I Josh! Oh, <laughs> I, I thought, out. didn't we have boulders here? Uh, they don't think so. move over right, okay? Um, and I think, I think we did, yeah. 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 I don't right. think we did. Well, unless the, unless I've been watching the, on the feed and I didn't see him. I'm not going to lie. Nice. Save my spot. Not saving your spot. Then be that. Do you guys have, like, spots? No. no. Okay. This isn't a lunch table. Say how. Cow. Unless my book bag is sitting yeah. here, yeah. Yeah. then you can't yeah. sit here, Katie. Like, no, Katie, like, like, this is a good yeah. rock. Yeah. Like, that's a good yeah. rock. Yeah. This one's got a groove for your butt. Here. Are you drinking with your name, Bill? I said I called it. I said that's the next time. Yeah, it does sound it actually makes me laugh. I'm like, how is it going to drink? Well, you know what? I'm like, kind of filthy. Is it good? Oh, yeah, I make them strong. But when you go places, people don't know who you are. I need one of those. I want to yell in my name. A whole one when you have a chance. I want people yell in my name. I know, I know. I am. I'm vegan. Oh my so God, God, no. Well, you're not. I'm glad. You I'm veg more vegetarian. Yeah. I saw you pouring you chicken grease on your service. food. Yeah, and, and um, I eat predominantly more of a vegetarian yeah. diet, okay. but I'm not like yeah. vegan or vegetarian. Yeah. I don't eat meat, but I like the gravy and stuff from it. Sometimes I'll eat fish. I like mushroom gravy. You can make dark gravy because I love mushroom gravy. You can make those vegan. If we had more choice out here, good mushroom gravy. That's what we like. Yeah. Where, where are you from? Sacramento. Oh, Sacramento. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Go, bro, go. Look out. Can I smell your hair? Kids, my green. Can you smell me? This is what clean hair smells like, okay? So only, only like a few more hours of that. <laughs> Bella's like, what are your passions? <laughs> Don't worry, we're fixing to drill you in a minute. Take a deep breath and enjoy the peace and quiet. Huh? Last long. I think I'm the only one here that's been through this because Ernesto and Taylor both just came right in, right? Yeah. Yeah. I went through the whole two I'm, people. Okay. I'm a one. Yeah, on, I just I'm just gonna say right now I'm a one-on-one -on -one -one person, so the group yeah. settings are kind of difficult for me. I really connect with people individually. That's what I did when I came. Yeah. <laughs> you and you have a while too. Like that's my biggest advice is don't feel like you have to like showcase yourself in like 30 minutes. You know, like yeah, you have a few right. days to yeah. take your time and really get to know everybody. So that's probably better. Mm -hmm. To both of you. That's my advice to both of you. Yeah. yeah. Animal people. I love animals. Me too. Yeah. I, well, I, work, I, I rescue so many animals. That's what I do yeah. in Sacramento. So. That's so sweet. No and that's why I became vegan because it's like it didn't make sense to rescue. Are you vegan? Rescue. Yes. You yeah. yeah. asked that. Thank well, God. Are you? I know. Yes, Nikki. <laughs> are you vegan or veggie? Or? Um, it's a long story. I don't like to label myself. <laughs> but let's just say that I mainly eat like a vegan. Oh, cool. Yeah. But I have so a I'm choice. Like, I'm going to be wanting rice, beans, vegetables, fruit, hopefully. Well, I mean, I know it's limited out here, but rice and beans are cheap. Exactly. So. That's what's for dinner tonight. Cool. Mm -hmm. And does he, he doesn't put any animal products in it? Well, you have to ask. Yeah. Sometimes he puts milk in things. Okay. So, but vegetarian or vegan? Vegan. Yeah. Chris, I have that Lexi song stuck in my head. Like, I've been singing it all day. Lexi! Oh, Lexi! Ooh. What's the Lexi song? Ooh. Oh, wait, actually. Okay, <clears throat> I'm so funny. We'll show you Which the girl, the girl that was here Saturday? Uh, no, she was here last weekend. She's oh. from Florida. Florida. From Florida. I can't believe people are Saturday. flying in this. Huh? What girl are you not for Saturday? On Saturday, the one you went fishing with? No. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. It was Sunday, okay? It was Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> what else do you know? Shut she up, knows man. everything. I don't know I anything. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Keep that answer. Aaron. Aaron. Oh, look at those white shorts. White's a dangerous color out here. 
So wait, the chickens are loose? Yeah, yeah they're free range. They all go in at the same time. Yeah, got really the coyotes don't. Oh, go ahead. Sure. No, they were both good fit. And once they figure it out, then the <laughs> that is an issue. But so far, so good. <laughs> oh, I can't get that out of my head. But everyone's like looking at me. It's like a new person. It's hard when you're like separated from civilization, right? <laughs> We get so excited when you're just probably gonna smell your hair tonight. You can smell my hair. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm running low. I brought some detangler spray. It smells really good. You can smell it. I'll make another one. Because you were showering. I'm not gonna come up to you in the shower when you're nude. I'm not for your drinking. I'll spray it on your pillow. I'm not gonna go to your twitch. I'll go to the air. Oh, I bet you were. <laughs> and nail polish too. It's like, oh, it's a one. Oh, it's like a This is when it crisps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, I watched a Monday. Actually, got it. Well, I mean, kind of loosely. Loosely. This is my diary. Just for record. Hey, cow. Cal? Cal. That's <laughs> you forgot your own name for a minute. He did like a hex Hi, I'm Katie. Yeah. Katie? Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. When I tell a story, I say my real name, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jess. Love you, Jess. Well, it's hard when you're now. You're kind of isolated. Yeah. It's She'll not. Understand. Yeah. She'll forgive you. Sorry, I was so totally sleeping. Um, Where were you sleeping? Out there? I was sleeping out there. Yeah. Totally gonna do So I guess I'm leading this. Sure. You lead everything so far. Yeah. You're pretty good. You're the chunkin. Oh my God. Wait, Mike, do I have to take notes? <laughs> okay. No, you don't have to take notes okay. for this. I don't care about this. Okay. Um, the president. So welcome to Utopia. Well, welcome to Inside the Gates. We'll figure out if it's your Utopia in the next couple of days. It may be, it may not be. Make the best of it. Witch drop near the welcome wagon. You might hate it. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I'll just be a realist for you. What? I'm just being a realist. Yeah, yeah, no. Utopia is not a place, it's a state of mind, and hope you can get there. Um, so. Are you there? No. I'd like to hear about. First, I want to hear what this guy's story is, because you look interesting. I'll bet you have, what he came in with. I bet yeah, you yeah, have okay. something cool to say. He took so. off about 10 pounds of clothes. 10 Love pounds it. of clothes. <laughs> Betty made. 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 This should be yeah. good. Yeah. So, uh, Love it. give us your story, bro. Sweet, yeah. I'm interested. Uh, my name is Cal, and uh, I live on a farm with seven other people. Uh, my name is Cal. I live on a farm in Portland, Oregon with seven other people. We try to grow our own food. We live simple. Our goal in life is to have a really enjoyable experience and have harmony amongst the group. Mm. We really don't care how much we get accomplished. Process oriented is what our life is about, not goal oriented. Enjoying whatever we're doing. Uh, I've been teaching ancestral living skills 20 years. I'm 39 years old. Uh, I've grown my own food for the better part of 20 years now. Yeah. So if you want to make a bow, you want to tan a hide, you want to do a bow drill fire, you want to interact in the world, then this is the place that I'm comfortable. What I'm hoping to bring here is safety because this is our world and we're safe here, right? Everything we need is here in our world. Our culture teaches us that you have to have money, you have to have a house, you have to be protected in some way, but that's not the truth. We're not aliens. We didn't come out from outer space. We came from here and I'd like to Help remember that so we can feel safe without safety there's no harmony without harmony there's no utopia nice. awesome. I dig that. Thank you. i'm with that yeah. and i like those okay. pants <laughs> i'm gonna borrow those pants, pants are awesome. what's your name honey 34. Uh, honey. that's me okay. they're too short you said you go by katie or kate katie katie do i, I need to katie. stand up i'm much no. com yeah. more comfortable sitting down you can sit okay I'm much better with, you want to ask me questions? No. Uh, ah, no. I'm not a public speaker. Okay. I'm a single mom from uh, Sacramento and I've raised my kids on my own. Um, I am vegan. I am an animal rights activist. Um, so I spend most of my time either with my kids or rescuing animals and we rescue them together as a family. Um, 
I love to cook. Of course, it's vegan food. Um, I'm, I'm getting into gardening, but I, I haven't done it a lot. I would like to be told how to garden. Like, I know there's a lot of people here with ideas like, let's do this, let's do that. I'm okay with someone saying, hey, Katie, let's do it this way, and, and I'm hands-on. I can get in there and do it. So, And also, I want to work with the animals here, and I want to make sure that they're well cared for and that they're happy and that they're safe. So, Do you know anything about them? Um, yes. And I know that the baby was taken away from its mom, and that really made me sad. Yeah. That wasn't for us. That was for that advice. It's a, really? Yeah, there's yes. different ways to deal with stuff. But no, are you like, do you raise cattle, or do you know anything about um, We cows? have chickens at home, but I haven't raised cattle. My grandpa has a cattle ranch, so I spent a lot of time there. Like, this is before I was vegan. Like, like I've castrated bulls. I've... I've I've done all that, all the farm work with awesome. goats and um, cows, yeah. and and I've artificially inseminated cows. And then, but this, that's all stuff that I totally disagree with now. That um, that I've kind of grown out of that. You think that little calf should be with its mommy? What? Yeah, it bothers me. Well, like we wouldn't separate a, a puppy from its mom unless we had to. We wouldn't separate um, a horse from its mom unless we had to. Without so. talking about the cow too much. It's good. What? He likes talking about it all the time. Um, Does it bother you? No, I, I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a happy, healthy girl. I just want to see the animals happy and well taken care of, and, and I know that's pe people on the outside world want to see that too. Yeah. So. How old are your children? Huh? They're six and nine, both girls. So. What are their names? Katie. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm so Katie. nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. You have no idea. Um, Hannah and Taylor. Oh. Hannah and Taylor. So, yeah. Are they missing you? Yeah, they miss me, but they're excited. So. They want me to come here. Can I ask, um, I know, Cal, I really got from you, is very self-sufficient, very positive, yes. harmonious life. You seem healthy. You, you talk <laughs> healthy. I love it. Oh, I know your utopia. What, what, what do you think your utopia would My be? My utopia would be where everybody could trust each other with minimal rules, mm -hmm. um, no religion, mm -hmm. um, and where everyone can rely on each other and more like, more like a group. As in, this this isn't my money, this isn't my food. What we have is what we all have. And the only way that that's possible is for there to be trust and for everyone to be hardworking. Because the problem with that is if there's a couple people that aren't working hard, then the people who are feel gypped. And, you know, it just all has to even out. But that, the only way that can work is if everyone trusts each other. So in my utopia, everybody would be in it for the group. Can you explain vegan uh, your vegan lifestyle? Um, well, I don't wear animal products. Um, I don't agree with that. Um, the opposite of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's funny they sent us in together, um, but, um... How do you eat? I what eat, eat? eat plant-based diet. Okay. Completely. Right. So, um, I, I like to do yeah. fresh fruits and vegetables as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I would love to start eating more raw foods, like fruits, of course, but I would like to, um... Sorry. Bella does a lot of raw food. Oh, really? Fine. No, I, my no, nerves are shot okay. right now. We can't even tell you're nervous. It's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. But, yeah. Um, does it have to be organic? Hmm? Does it have to be organic? No, I don't. You know what? Or I like I like organic. I feel like that's kind of like a privilege of yeah. coming from a first world country, but where we get to be picky about that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not picky about that stuff. I mean, we're living out here, and if organic beans cost twice as much as non-organic beans, I'm going for the non-organics because, mm -hmm. because it's, it's about... <laughs> so I, I like organic, of, of course, and if it costs the same, I would always buy organic. But it doesn't cost the same, so it's not always feasible. Um, right. You like... Um, I'm ready for this. Wow. No, um, I, I, I'm I, glad because I don't have I a just speech have memorized. Um, we, we had a deer in here yeah. that we ate. I saw that. Yeah, how'd you feel about that? I thought I bring it in. That freak you out? How'd you feel about that? You know what? I, I go out to dinner with friends and family all the time who are eating um, carcasses in front of yeah. me. So I am used to seeing that. So it's something I'm accustomed to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've only been vegan for one year. Mm. Um, but the animal right thing, uh, you say something. It, 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 right? I'm sorry. You say you're you're animal activist or something. Yeah. Like uh, well, I I don't think animals should should be exploited in any way, shape, or form. But I also believe in in um n having nice conversations. Nobody's ever changed their views because somebody was in their face or mad about it or condemning them for what they were eating or for what they were doing. That that doesn't that just makes people um, not like you. 
So, <laughs> so what, I, 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 oh, I would never attack somebody okay. for what they were eating, mm -hmm. but if I saw somebody trying to kill one of our chickens that I had been taking care of, that would really bother me, and, and I, I don't know what I would do, but it, it would bother me a lot. I, so. I wanted to ask what you, you've been watching, you've you know, kind of seen what's going on maybe a little bit, you have a little bit of information now. What, what, what skills, like right now, do you, do you guys think you have that would be useful? Um, I would love to make jewelry. I would also, um, I have a few different ideas of things that, oh, sorry, I'm so nervous. <laughs> But um, I've seen um, you make jewelry, mm -hmm. and I've seen you garden, and I'd love to help with those things, and I'd love to help with the animals, and and that's what I'd like to offer. Sure. And I'd like to cook vegan food, too. Yeah. Well, I'd like to answer that in two parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. First part, the most valuable thing that I consider I'm bringing here is storytelling and is experience living in community, <laughs> because the stories we tell are essential to how we all get along, especially historically speaking. Secondly, I do live on a farm and I can pretty much fix anything, make anything work. I'm uh, very handy. I would consider myself jack of all trades, not expert at any, but I've built houses, I've done plumbing. I can't read blueprints, but I can make things work with what they are. Can you finish that uh, workshop over there? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the materials we have. <laughs> what kind of farm is it? I, we have 10 acres. Um, there's a year round creek that goes through it, three acres of forested land firewood, and just some wild area to hang out in. Then we have a uh, better part of three acres under cultivation. Uh, we use pigs to till, so we don't have a rototiller or a tractor. We just move the pigs from field to field, and they root up, and then we plant in the areas they've already been through. Would you call that a pig tractor? That's a pig tractor. <laughs> <laughs> what would you think about a chicken tractor? <laughs> uh, you know, I'd love to, uh, to have a discussion, but if, if there's farmers that are interested, let's make that. Right now, we're like in an intro. I also wanted to mention, I was here in the test cast, so I have, I'm really familiar with the, uh, the area, I mean, the location, with where things are at. Uh, of course, I'm interested to see what's happened in the month that hasn't been there, but I have a lot of ideas on how I would set up a farm here, and I'd love to talk about those with whoever's interested. What do you feel about, I know Katie, like her utopia, there's no religion. What do you feel uh, about that? Well, I'll say off the top, I'm an animist, all right? That means that I believe everything has a spirit and that we're all connected. Yeah. There is no separation. There is no f far away anything. We're, this is our world. We're made of this world. And we interact with it every day. That's what I would consider a religion. Now, there's no tithing. <laughs> there's no 10%. There's no flails on your back. It's love everything. Respect everything. Yeah. Be kind, right? We take all this life into us, right? We're heliotropes, not autotropes. We have to destroy something, be it a wheat, rice, animal. Something has to die for us to live. It's our duty to share love, to bring joy. If we take that death, that life into us, and then we spread bitterness and deceit, well, I think that's a sin. Can I say something? Of course, honey. Um, if, and I agree with part of what you're saying with what we bring into our bodies is also what we give out. So if... if if, well, is that kind of what you meant? No, we're all no, connected. whatever we bring in, we're responsible to bring joy back out because something has so to die we, for us to live. So if we have to, if, if somebody kills an animal and eats it, they're eating misery. They're eating pain and agony. It doesn't matter how good the life the animal had. It died in pain and agony. And so they're putting that in their bodies. You know, I'd love to have a conversation with you one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Right yeah. now, he's asking about skills, and I'd like to keep on that topic, at least for now. This is definitely an interesting subject, and uh, I look forward to it. I think we should let them battle it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you've been vegan one year, right? Yes, so so, not very long. So it's you pretty, pretty much new. had a cheeseburger a year ago. Yeah, I spent all last, uh, I spent all last um, <laughs> summer learning how to barbecue the best steak. Uh, Good thing you weren't here, what, uh, three weeks ago? And so, so I do not look down on people, no, and I don't look down on people who eat animals because I for almost my entire life until last year, of course. So I don't judge people for doing it because I wouldn't have wanted to be judged for it when, when I was eating animals. Right. So well, we've even had Mike have some beef jerky. I did have a piece of beef jerky. <laughs> 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 and yeah, it was yeah. good. I mean, <laughs> 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 yeah, so I just a little piece.
Yeah. I have a quick question for both of you. Um, I'm huge on like individual mo individual motivation, especially in times of like struggle or survival. Yes. Um, so for me, when I came in here, like my personal quote was the greatest mistake of all is to do nothing because you think you can only do a little. So for each one of you, what's like a, a quote or a, if you're re religious, I guess you're not, but a verse or something that when you're down and out that you tell yourself or remind yourself to get yourself motivated again? Um, I have an awesome quote on my social media page, but <laughs> I don't have it memorized. That's okay. Or just like an idea. It doesn't have to be like an exact well, quote. Well, um, just... it basically is that if I agree with a rule, I'll follow it. And if I don't agree with a rule, I'll break it. And and that's kind of how I live my life. If, if I feel like I'm doing the right thing, mm -hmm. and but the rules say I'm not, then mm -hmm. I don't really worry about that. Because I at the end of the day, I have to answer to myself. OK. So cool. that's kind of my viewpoint. Cool. Awesome. And what about you? Uh, I'd be happy to sum up in a quote. I would say, be gentle with yourself. Think less and feel more. Be as happy as you can. You only have this moment by Dan Millman. Awesome. Where are you? Find the spirit is one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where are you from? I was born and raised in Alaska. Okay. Badass. Well, yeah. 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 Yeah, you say, so you live on a farm, oh, like, as an intentional community? Something like that. So, I mean, what was kind of the basis of the community, your community, coming together? Well, I, oh, you're asking me a direct question, so I'm going to take a little time to tell a little of my backstory, all right? Uh, for many years, I taught skills. I had draft horses. I had a farm in Hood River, Oregon. And then, I don't know if anyone's into astrology, my Saturn return came around. I'd always been doing skills my whole life. I wanted to do something different. I went to Asia for a few years, three years. I deconstructed warehouses, sent teak and mahogany wood back to America, recycled wood, big money. A man that I taught skills to before, he looked me up in Asia after three years, and he said, he's really rich. He wants me to come back and teach skills. He'll buy me a farm, and uh, he's been reading a bunch of young. Young says, chop wood, carry water, and he's, we used to philosophically argue because he was rich, he wanted to be safe, and, and he, after three years, he'd come around to what we talked about, and so, I flew back from Asia and he bought me a farm. Wow. So this rich and, man lived his life with a lot of money and you kind of helped him and then he saw, after those years, he saw kind of your way of no, thinking? No, I didn't help him. He's, he's a, he considers himself a philosopher, right? Okay. So what he got from me was a contrary opinion, mm. all right? Like, he wants to talk about Carl Jung and Freud and psychology and I can talk about that things, but I can also challenge him to say, all right, look at the people that are in your peer group. How much joy do they have in their life? How much do they experience in the world? And how safe are they really? Because the more money you have, the less safe you are really. Because everyone's trying to take it. You think you trust your wife? You think if you get older, your kids aren't going to try to get your money from you? Sure. Wait, so you don't trust a lot of people? In a competitive culture, my trust is earned from everybody. Okay. But it can be earned. I trust I, you. I, don't trust anyone that tells you to trust them. I, Your I, trust is earned. I would like Thank to add brother. to that. Epic I, answers, I trust dude. everybody yeah. until they give me a reason not to. Oh, I have faith That's a Pisces you. view. It's wonderful. You know. I love it. What do you want me to have an Aries? <laughs> <laughs> this is on the personal subject, but are we done with that last question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to answer, but I'd rather not dominate the group. Moose. Moose. That's, that's her name. That's, her name. <laughs> that's her nickname. Okay. Too. Oh, so, I kind of actually uh, have a secondary follow-up to the question. Okay. So, but you said there's seven other people living. Yes. So, how did those people come to live? All right. Like, what was it, was it you like invited <laughs> yeah, these people or? Are you thinking? And Jennifer's asking, are you guys plotting Emirates? Why y'all have? So the people on the farm, right? Uh, when I got back to Portland, it took me a year to find a farm I wanted. I had really strict criteria. I want year-round water. I want to be close to the city to the max so that I can interact with people. And I don't want a McMansion. I want to have old buildings that I can renovate in the way I want. It took us a year to find that. During that time, when we were looking for farms, I was looking for people. Now, in a competitive culture, there's people that are more hurt by the culture, and there's people that are less hurt by the culture. I would call it a codependent cycle of caretakers and needy people. Does that make sense? The off relationship takes care of the husband, does everything, you know, he comes home, he drinks beers. I'm looking for the caretakers to work with their emotional issues because they have something to give. They can draw on vital energy. I don't 
work with the meters at this point in, my, in time. It t if you have 10 cooperators, you can handle one meter, right? And bring them into feeling safe. They need because they're scared, right? But it takes so much vital energy and support to hold that safe space for them, right? Our small community doesn't have that energy at this point. There's only seven of us, all right? So I choose very carefully people who have access to energy and like to give, who are all fulfilled by being in service, who would give a gift because they wanted to, you know? That's who we choose. And I, I pick the first three people and then like uh, the head lady in, in the place, she chose the last two, but people come, they spend a week. Everyone gets a week and we see how we get along. Harmony is our home. If you're gonna have judgment, if you're gonna have, you know, your projections onto us, then you're, you're welcome to stay the week, but we're gonna invite you to go to somewhere that's more fitting to what you're at right now. Yeah, so in the four years I've been this there. Guy's built yeah. Utopia. Yeah, yeah, I'm really leaving yeah. paradise to come here yeah. because I'm tired. I go to Fred Meyer. <laughs> Unhappy people <laughs> everywhere. Hard, yeah. Exhaustion, you know, bitterness. <laughs> we can demonstrate that to the greater culture. This is an incredible opportunity. Yeah. It's like, it's hard for me to leave. I didn't want to leave, but I wouldn't feel like I was doing my service if I didn't at least try. Mm. I just saw the cartoon hearts pop in Bella's eyes during that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you missed her like face the whole time. Like the cartoon hearts. <laughs> well, I gotta say, she is like moaning and making uh, Oh dear God. <laughs> I gotta God. say, Cal, you really, you honestly, um, sounds perfect. it's crazy, man. I, I like forgot what I had said when I was coming in here, yep. you know, and you just really reminded me of the, the whole reason I wanted to be here. Good, let's make and, a start. Um, you know, we can work together. We can prove that people can trust each other, right? Everyone believes humans are fundamentally flawed and we cannot get along. We can't help, it. we're gonna destroy ourselves. Mm -hmm. That is a farce, all right? We can change that belief through example. And that's the only way we really will. Words won't do it. Do you get pissed off? Uh, I haven't been angry in many years. Uh, the last time I was angry, in high school, I got in a fight many times. Oh, I don't want to talk about fights. Just want to talk about just like years ago. Like just anger. Do you get like angry at all? I don't get angry. No. Like I don't what if someone personal. like someone's having a bad day and they're yelling around and they can upset the bunch? You doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother you. Everyone has their pain. They're working off. out. And uh, if someone's yelling and hurting around, yeah. I just soon console them and offer them a gift of some sort because that's hurt that they're looking to, and they don't, there's no way, there's no avenue. We don't have touch. We're scared of being close to each other. We're scared of being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Why are you yelling right now? We do it. it takes time to earn trust. Uh, yes, but like anything, trust is gained in time. You know what I mean? If you're demanding anything from me, it's hard for me to give it. A hug should be a gift. It shouldn't be a demand. A gift should be a gift. It shouldn't be a demand. I will, under certain circumstances, to console a needy person, but I don't like supporting that. If you reward bad behavior, what do you get? Bad behavior. More bad behavior. Man, you just touched on everybody. You just, <laughs> first you got Bella, then you got Nikki, then that little oh, oh. Man, <laughs> was like, Man, it was like bad behavior. I just, I have a question for the group, but also I think this is important for you guys to answer as individuals, um, for yourself. Um, every day here is not sunshine and roses. There's hard days. There's going to be emotionally trying days. When you're having a bad day, a low day, a sad day, where you're homesick for your family or for your community, how do you deal with that? Me first. Or is it Does, yeah, either or. Either or. Um, I, I don't really get homesick. I've, la I've left my kids for four months before when I was traveling. And that, and that was fine. I know they're safe. They're with my mother. They're having fun. My mom lives practically down the street from where I live. So their life continues. Their life's not interrupted other than they miss me, but they understand the reason behind it. And they're excited about it. Uh -huh. So would you say in a bad day, maybe your, your motivation or your pick-me-up is being a role model for your children? I'm not trying to give you answers, but... Oh, I'm just, like when I have a bad day? Yeah, when you have a bad oh, day. Gosh. If you're having a bad day I, here. Honestly, um, I, I hang out with my cat. <laughs> and I kind of get all my positive energy from my cat, as crazy as that sounds. 
I'm I'm a, I'm a cat lady, and there's no cats here, so I'm gonna have to find a substitute. But chickens, we okay. Have chickens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> chickens, I do. But I mean, when they animals really calm me down. They really calm okay. me down. Like I, I, okay. I, the vibes from them are just so much calmer than I get from people sometimes. So you look for a positive energy source. Yes, about positive it. energy okay. source. Sometimes that's a person. Sometimes it's cats. Right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. How about you? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, everyone has hard days sometimes. <clears throat> you know, you got up on the wrong side of the bed or somebody said something that hurt your feelings, right. malicious or not. I certainly have days where I'm feeling down or feeling unloved. Mm -hmm. And uh, where I live, we have a tool we call the whole car. It's uh, just a quiet place. Mm -hmm. And you can't be told to go to a whole car. You have to feel, I don't feel right. I don't have anything to give. I've taken this food and I've taken this joy and I'm not offering back. So what do I do? I find my center. I choose to go be quiet and find something to be grateful for to get back into where I have some joy to offer. And you know, sometimes that takes me days. Mm -hmm. You know, like I just read a book called The Ohlone Way about the Native Americans of uh, San Francisco and how they live. I was depressed for a week afterwards what this culture destroyed through rampant devastation. But I went, I sat in my room, I read some books that I find inspiring. Mm -hmm. And I feel better again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say I agree with you on that. Like okay. I pick up on bad. Like if I'm stuck in traffic and I'm just looking around, like at all the cement everywhere and all the buildings everywhere, and it just really makes me sick about what we've done to this beautiful earth that we mm -hmm. have, and the way we've used it. It really does bother me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I got a question. Yeah. How? Do you guys have any, have any ideas to? Uh, unfortunately, we do need money here. Yeah. We have bills. <laughs> we have real bills. We have food to buy. <laughs> Hopefully we can grow knives? some. We, um, we, we have a phone bill. We've got internet bill, water, all those yeah. things. Do you guys have any ideas yeah. on uh, how to make money, contribute to the economy in here? Me first? Sure. Yeah. yeah, I have lots of ideas. I'm very skilled at competing in the culture. Um, I uh, have designed a few things that I'm interested in talking about. First of all, symbolism and identity. We have a very large marketplace that we can advertise to just in our lifestyle. So I'd love to uh, create some symbols, and I have ideas for that. I'm certainly open to others, and market projects that have those on them, right? Symbol I'd like to offer up right up front is the stone cutting edge, all right? Every tool, everything we ever make comes from a cutting edge. You can't make anything. You can't make a basket. You can't do gardening. You can't do anything without a cutting edge. I'd like to use this to represent our cultural beliefs. Let's use the tools that ancestral people used for years to get along that worked quite well to apply to our modern world. We don't have to give up our technology. I'm talking about ideas. I am very good flint napper. I can flint nap points and market them all day long. I also can make all sorts of things out of buckskin. You know, we can, I don't know, my friend has a trouble with it over here, but we can talk about other materials to use, of course with symbols on them. I even brought in some white t-shirts because I'd love to draw some symbols on them. What I would like to use as our call name is cultural pioneers with a symbol that we can agree on. I have ideas, of course, because we can pioneer a different way of interacting. And I'd like to see people out there being inspired by it and, and showing their families that they're thinking about the things that we're doing. If we have some sort of internet access, we can order t-shirts delivered to us. We can order t-shirts made up with the symbols and have them delivered to us and send them out. We can have them make them somewhere else and deliver it for them. That provides income for us. There's also other things we can make. I'm interested in symbolism and identity and reaching a greater audience and tapping into that. We don't have a marketplace. It's hard for us to sell services or interact with the world. Let's provide it something that is attractive to people and on top of that um we had a man come in to one of these events that we held here and he uh right off the bat he was so excited a lot of them are to share their business ideas and his was symbolism with the individuals in the group and uh his first example was hex and just something what he he had it all drawn in his mind like something with the bows and the crossing and i could just see how excited he was about it and uh mm -hmm. It sank in, and it's good to hear it come back yeah, up Yeah, yeah, I love it. And I totally would love this discussion crucial. with whoever yeah. you know, is interested. Um, I would love to get into the jewelry making. I grew up making jewelry, um, mostly beadwork, and I see you're doing kind of a different type that I haven't learned yet. So I would love to learn that. And also, I had some ideas, th something we could make and sell for a lot more than what the materials cost is to order a bunch of mason jars 
and some cute cloths to put on the top and we can make some soup recipes and there's lots of different types of recipes where we can layer it pretty and we could sell like a jar of like this is ready to go for like 12 or 15 bucks whereas the supplies might only cost a couple dollars so that was one idea we had I had and then um, as far as like anything crafty I just I just really love to sit and and take my time and add detail to any any art pieces so you probably love Pinterest then I actually <laughs> have never used really? that social media no. that be your bread and Etsy or, yeah like Etsy uh -huh. yeah, another... not big on electronics okay. I, I got my first computer like six months ago and I I already ruined it. I don't know how. What's like your I'm job not back an home? electronic. What is my job? Yeah. I'm a topless house cleaner. All right. What? <laughs> 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 that okay. Uh, can I tell my a little room bit? real dirty okay. right now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my corner of the house is real dirty right in now. The word, <laughs> in the work, in the fear of portraying myself in the wrong light, can one. I give a little background <laughs> on this? Um, as Are a single mom who's never gotten child support. I used to work as a secretary or administrative assistant um, 40 hours a week. That did not pay the bills. That added up to fifteen, sixteen hundred a month after taxes, which was not enough to pay the bills. So I worked in restaurants and bars on evenings and weekends, and sometimes I had up to three jobs working 65, 70 hours a week. And I grew up in a very religious home, and that was doing things the right way. You know, I'm working to support my kids. I'm doing the best I can. The problem was kids were being raised by the school and by daycare. I dropped them off at 7 a.m. They'd go to daycare after school and then my mother or somebody would have to pick them up from there and they'd have to spend the night at my mom's house or or I wouldn't pick them up till 10 or 11 and really I only saw them when they were sleeping and I just felt like a bad mom and in society's viewpoint I was doing things the right way and I'm like okay well sometimes society has that wrong so by doing it this way I was able to cut down to work 8 to 10 hours a week to make the same amount and that way I can spend approximately four or five days a week working in animal rescue. I, I'm involved with three different animal shelters and I volunteer a lot and I, I do animal rescue transport also. So being able, doing this other job, which is looked down on by most of most people, especially when you're trying to be like, a, you know, a good mom. Um, my kids know I clean houses and that's, that's all that matters. I don't think it'll bother me telling them when, when they grow up. You know, it's like, okay, look, if I didn't do this, you would have lived your whole life at daycare growing up. So I, I'm, I'm proud of what I do, and I feel like it was the right choice. And that's why I did this, because now I can pursue my passions, which is animals and my children. So, so that's the background behind it. So I went from working like 65, 70 hours a week to working like 10 hours a week. So it's just, it was a life changer. So I'm basically a stay-at-home mom without needing anybody else's income. Um, there's never been a guy supporting me ever. I've always been self-sufficient. If there's a problem, I handle it. If I need something, I figure it out. So I, I, that, that's how I am. I consider myself a strong person for that. So, But that's why I know it, I was actually sitting at my mom's house one day and she had, she had her maid, I was like on a quick lunch break and she had her maid there cleaning and I'm like, mom, what do you pay her? And it was like 20 or 25 an hour. It was something crazy. And here I am, a secretary for like 12 an hour. And I was like, what? I can I can clean houses. But then I, the wheels start turning. I'm like, OK, what do I got that this maid doesn't got? So I, I so it just kind of like went up from there. And, and word spread. And, and, and yeah, I stay, I stay busy. Josh is cheesy right now. I stay busy. I just became a character. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny because fun. doing something less wholesome enabled me to be more wholesome, to be able to see my kids and cook home, home cooked meals and things like that, whereas before I couldn't do any of that. So it was a trade off, and I'm really happy about it. Yeah, society's not always right in the way that they think is the right way to do things because based off society, I was doing it right when I was spending all my time at work and not with my kids. So. I have a question. What are you going to do when gravity takes over? When what? Gravity it's takes not over. a long-term job. I know it's not a long-term job. I didn't say that. Oh. Well, listen. You did. Oh, oh, I'm a... When, all right, okay, when, listen. I'm 29. I'm Obviously, saying. I'm not going to be doing this when I'm 39. I'm a this is a short, a short-sighted job choice. Um, and my kids are 6 and 9. Hopefully, by the time... In high school, I can have a career. 
what I'm really planning with my one of my daughters is hoping to she wants to be a flight attendant or a pilot she's going back and forth um, when she is old enough I'd love to go to flight attendant school with her and become flight attendants together mm -hmm. that's like a little pipe dream I know kids change their minds over and over but that would be something I would want to do someday but at this point um, to go to school and to do all that would take away from my children, so you're I would just, just rather wait. You're just playing fast and loose right now. I'm sorry. Rob. I just feel like you're. Rob, Rob that's me. This is old Rob. Rob. Jesus mm -hmm. fucking Christ! I can't. I, I want to have a conversation about it. No, what did you say? I didn't hear you. I just said like, like if you're if you're working eight to ten hours, mm -hmm. you know, you could go to school. I could. But. You don't want I, to. I have, I have no desire to. to in, in if she her, wanted to be with the kids, she'd be with her kids I right went now. I to school to be. She's a, not. She's here. Bob. So okay. I mean, I, I don't know why I can't have this conversation or not. They know, my know why I'm here, and they they work animal rescue with me, so they uh -huh. believe along with me that this. Because the really first thing important. they got me that that kind of bothered me was like, oh, I think the calf should be with his mother. That's like one of the first things you said. But yet your kids are without you. Don't you think they'd want you? Well, I'm not breastfeeding them. I sh I'm just saying. Yeah, they're weak. All right. But, but, um, conversation? Yeah. Seriously. Um, like, um, we're yeah. getting fighting is ruining well, the energy of the group. Let's. I don't want to. I, I'm not here to Jesus. argue with anybody. I'm going to take a little Conversation. But, I don't want to do it. Okay. 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 Welcome to Utopia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm We're sorry. I'm not kids. trying to step on any toes. <laughs> you didn't. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. No, we're not. Nothing. That's know. why I asked to run how they handle bad days. You're a single mother. You got to do what you have to do. Take care of your kids. You know. If I was in that situation, I'd do whatever I have to do. Yeah. You know? That I uh, can't judge anybody. That That's right. wasn't. That wasn't. That definitely wasn't. What you. was his question yeah. though? That no, when he's, I said. There's there's some underlying he, stuff. He's, yeah, he's hesitant about having from anybody Jersey, come yeah. in here. <laughs> he's he's new people. Watching. He's also his okay. fiance. Okay. I mean, actually, day -day. from watching the live feed, he was one of the people I liked the most. And yeah. he's still with me. And he will be. Once he gets used to it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's had not a great day. That's a freaking paper bag, Bella. That's the shit. It's a bag. Okay, I think we all really like to have a conversation. Okay, so this is like a tub right now. Okay, I think we need a drink. I brought some. It really is coming down to pick you up. We need fresh. Why are you guys freaking out of her back? Thank you. You guys have any questions for us? Thank you. You guys need us to introduce ourselves, who we are, what we do? I remember your own name. Also, I've been like in hotels for a lot of days and like technicians. See what okay, all done. Yeah, I love okay. to talk to you for a little while. Like, yeah. okay. Come over here. Yeah. Let's, Let's go like through a little tour. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, trust me. You just